so um, just a really quick video. Busy getting my um, War of the Roses troops all squared away, doing some uh, basing. Um, and then I've got to add some standards and banners. Um, um, I've come across a set of rules called uh, Never Mind the Bill Hooks, um, which um, look to, look like um, they're just the thing I've been looking for for fighting the War of the Roses. Um, they seem to have a bit of similarity to them in regard to um, you know the two fat lardies rules. I mean they're, they're card activated, um, uh, so basically you get cards representing uh, leaders or big men in the in two fat lardies speak. Um, and um, when their cards dealt, um, they they can activate troops within their their command radius. Now the rules uh, suggest individual figure removal, um, but I don't really. Um, I already had a lot of my uh, uh, War of the Roses miniatures based on these um, these large bases for uh, impetus. Um, uh, so I wasn't going to unbase them uh, and go through the whole process of rebasing. I uh, just wasn't up for that. Fortunately, I don't even think that's required. I think simply um, what I intend to do is uh, I've got casualty markers and I'm going to put behind each base um, a, a casualty marker with a dice holder and that will re record uh, hits on the units. Um, and um, And that's it. Um, so these, this is predominantly probably, oh geez, I, I reckon this is probably two thirds of my, my infantry that I have. Um, I also have uh, pikemen all, all ready to go. Um, and I have uh, bombards, cannons, the like, um, uh, individual skirmishing crossbowmen. But um, it's going to take a little while to get sorted out. I'm hopeful that I can get the basing finished by this weekend, and then I'll play the first game of never mind the bill hooks in um, by middle of next week sometime. Uh, so that's my cunning plan. Um, so that's where we're at. That's what I'm up to. Um, a bit of a uh, departure from uh, the um, usual World War II stuff or uh, uh, Black Powder, Napoleonics, American Civil War kind of stuff that I've been doing. Um, also, I'm really keen to start playing uh, Infamy Infamy as well. But um, one project at a time, eh? <laughs> Famous last words. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to playing some, never mind the bill hooks. The War of the Roses for me has always held a real uh, interest. I find it uh, a particularly intriguing period. And I must admit, I'm a I'm a Richardist. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Richard the um, Third. Uh, I think he's been uh, somewhat maligned. Um, there, uh, I don't think there are any real villains um, uh, in this period. I think they're just all men uh, and women uh, desperate to uh, advance their own causes. And uh, let's face it. Uh, <laughs> They were bloody, bloody times. Um, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Well, okay. It, it doesn't matter. Um, my flash has just come on, but I'm not going to stop. Um, just um, the bulk of my, my miniature collection for this period is Perry miniatures. Um, but um, the I do have some front rank um, archers and the uh, pikemen. Uh, front rank as well. So these guys are the front ranks. I, I have, I've had these for a long, long time. And then um, when I started to re-explore the uh, the period in question, I decided I'd go with Perry. Um, so let's just have a quick look at them. Yeah, so... um, no, that's better. Well, I don't know if it's better, but... Yeah, I've turned the light off. Um, so, yeah... They're, they're Perry miniatures, um, for the most part. And um, I think if you're going to do the War of the Roses, well, I, I, well, you know what? 
it's such a personal thing, um, you know, picking miniatures and, and deciding on what miniatures you like. But I, I just, I'll admit, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the Perrys, and um, I just really like their miniatures. Um, particularly their, um, you know, you can get the, the plastic sets, and, you know, the plastics are just fantastic. They're fantastic plastic. Um, and so um, they're, they're so versatile. Um, and they pretty much cover everything. I've, even, I've got Irish Kern that I'll be painting up. Um, uh, Irish uh, heavy infantry with gallow glass. Um, you know, the ridiculously, inconceivably large swords. Um, hand gunners. I mean, I've, I can cover every troop type uh, if I if I even just just with the Perry range, it, it pretty much covers everything. And then I've got all the um, you know all the appropriate uh, individual um, um, personalities um, as well. Um, uh, this is Buckingham, but I, I haven't finished painting him yet. Um, still got. Touch him up, up a bit. I've got to touch up Buckingham. That doesn't sound. This is a bit rude. Um, um, Edward the Fourth is a bit, bit uh, nondescript, really. Um, but there he is. Um, probably the, probably the best commander out of a lot of the period. I think Edward the Fourth. Um, his record speaks for himself. Um, and of course, um, uh, Richard III, um, George, Duke of Clarence, um, all right, well, that's that, we'll wrap it up there, um, and, um, yeah, like I said, the next, next video I'll do, um, will be a bit of a, uh, a flip through of the actual rules. Um, they're available, um, I think they they come free with the, I think the September issue of Wargamers Illustrated or Wargames Illustrated. Um, or you can go on the Wargames Illustrated website and I think you can buy the rules for six pounds. Um, there's also a card set that you can, that you can, um, you can purchase the card set. Or they're they're available for free download. Um, are they free download the card set? I think they are. I think the cards and tokens are free. You pay about six pounds for the rules, or if you take out a subscription with War Games Illustrated, I think you get the rules. I think you get the rules for fifty pence or something uh, as a PDF. Um, but I've uh, I've printed off the PDF. Um, I've got the hard copy coming as well. But uh, given the situation with mail into Australia at the moment. Um, I probably won't see that for another two months. Um, but I've made, made down my own cards. I took the PDF, uh, took it to Officeworks, which is a, a print on demand group here in Australia. And I printed it out. Um, and, uh, yeah. And there's also a Facebook page supporting, and, uh, I think there's two Facebook pages for Nevermind the Bill Hooks. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll talk more about the rules themselves uh, in the next video. But uh, but that's all for now. Um, cheerio and uh, Yubiquay.